Howdy folks, it's Antar and today I am bringing you an Ubers battle against Evil Man XD. Uh, he's running a Sun Team, as am I, so uh, I feel see no reason to lead off with my own Groudon. And instead I'm going to lead off with my Deoxys attack form because Ice Beam has about a 50-50 shot of one-shotting uh, 252 HP, zero special defense Groudon. So I figure, yeah, maybe I'll get a KO, maybe he will go for Stealth Rock first turn, we will have to see. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, as I said, leading off with Deoxys, um, pressure, whatever, and here comes the sun, uh, no need for me to set it up, really my team doesn't particularly care about the sun except for my rush around, but anyway, I go for the ice beam, and his health goes down, 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 and he survives with a sliver of HP, a teeny tiny sliver, and he goes for the thunder wave, um, kind of interesting, uh, it's, you really... He would have been better off just going for the attack, but maybe he thought I would switch out, and except unless I sent out my own Groudon, it would be nice to have someone on my team paralyzed, I guess he figured. Anyway, I go for the extreme speed on the next turn to get the KO, but my Deoxys A is seriously crippled. I mean, it has the extreme speed, but there's really not much else I can do. Anyway, he sends out his Mewtwo. Gonna go for the extreme speed. I do not get Parahaxed, which is very nice, and extreme speed off of my Deoxys does a little bit under 50%, and after Life Orb from this Ice Beam, it is going to do uh, just a solid 50% plus maybe a little bit more. Gets him down to into the yellow, so that's great. Um, oh, something that I was downloaded just finished. Um, yeah, no, I didn't say it was illegal. Anyway, uh, his Mewtwo goes for the Psy Strike against my Arceus. It does a lot more than I thought it would. Um, because Well, then again, my Arceus is 252 attack, 252 speed, so I guess it's not that surprising. I'm just glad I went for the Shadow Claw first turn and not anything else. So I take him out, and now out is going to come his Reshiram. And uh, throughout this battle, my opponent is going to use Reshiram extremely well. The fact that it outspeeds Arceus tells me that he is Scarfed. The fact that he didn't KO also tells me that he's not uh, Specs. So anyway, I'm going to get off a recover, be back up uh, higher than where I began. He's going to switch out wisely and go out into Megusta, his uh, Blissey. And this is fine by me. I think he's hoping that I don't run the Brick Break, but you know what? I do. And I think I'm just going to try to get off a Swords Dance against his Megusta. Um, God, I hate Blissey so much, but I'm not really fearing anything. The worst he can do to me is Toxic Me. No one else is... Well, I mean, I could switch out Scissor. Actually, scissor, switching out Scissor would have probably been the best move. But yeah, he gets off the Toxic, and now he's going to do some Toxic Stalling. Really, I should have... Considering I hadn't even gotten off any Swords Dance boosts anyway, I really should have just switched out into Scissor, or just gone for the Brick Break. I will calc whether a, how much a plus zero Brick Break from my Arceus would have done. But anyway, he's going to switch out into uh, his Fortress, go for the Brick Break at plus two. That's still not really doing very much at all. Uh, uh, Fortress is a bulky bastard, and Arceus doesn't have the highest. Well, I mean, 120 base attack. I would have expected it to do more. Anyway, I switch out into Booth, my Reshiram, and uh, he's going to go ahead and Volt Switch. I've actually seen, this is the new trend to have um, Fortresses use Volt Switch, uh, because it allows you to keep up the momentum, and they're slow enough that basically you can do cool things with your opponent attacks you once, and then you switch out. Um, so really great for scouting. Um, but you do get blocked by ground types, so, and oftentimes... Uh, you know, you only have room for one attacking move. Yeah, here, he goes to the Drago Meter, actually misses. Great prediction here, sending out Scissor. Probably why I didn't want to send out earlier, just in case. Um, sometimes Blissey's run Fire Blast or uh, Flamethrower, and that would have just sucked. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go for the Super Power here. I don't know why I was expecting Super Power to do more than um, a plus two Brick Break, but interestingly enough, it actually does. I did. I thought that Arceus had higher attack than um, Scissor, but oh well, I take it out, and I'm I'm not gonna be complaining about that. Anyway, yeah, back out is this guy, and I'm thinking, okay, he's probably just gonna go for the Draco Meteor, but no, he goes for the Blue Flare, flare and I am gonna lose my Scissor. But hey, now at least I know that he's locked into Blue Flare. It's nice knowing that he's Scarfed, so that's going to mean that I can send out my Reshiram next turn and not have anything to fear. So I go ahead and send Booth out. Booth is my Reshiram, and 
Um, based on the team he's got left, I figure just go for the Draco Meteor. It'll hit everyone on his team at least regularly effectively. I mean, obviously Blissey's a special wall and will be able to take that fairly well. But, you know, it should still do a decent chunk. And as you see, yeah, it does a decent chunk. By the way, uh, it's interesting that this is Blissey and not Chansey. Uh, Chansey tends to do better in Ubers. Uh, ah, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go out into Arceus here. I am poisoned, and that's not fantastic. Anyway, yeah, he goes for Wish. I really, really hate Wish Blissies because, I mean, it'd be one thing if you were using the one Wish Blissey that's around that has inferior stats, a crap nature, whatnot, but people run 31 EV, uh, IVs on all of Blissey stats and Wish, and that's just not possible. I mean, the uh, you can't RNG Pokemon obtained through that event. I think it's a... I'm trying to remember what event it is. Um, but there was no RNG back then. There's no legitimate way to get a flawless a Wish Blissey. And it just pisses me off whenever I see it. Uh, I mean, just run South World and don't be a dick about it. Anyway, he goes for the Draco Meteor here to take out my Arceus. At this point, Arceus was just... It was cake anyway. I mean, not cake. It was toast anyway. Um, I go out into Daenerys because I am going to outspeed. Um, Daenerys is uh, Scarfed and Halkia is faster than Reshiram. Halkia is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. And I'm going to go for a Spatial Rend here against his Blissey. I'm hoping it does a chunk even though Blissey's a special wall. <sighs> Gets him down to al almost 50, but really not doing too good. So anyway, I go out into Gondwana, my only remaining physical attacker. Yeah, it sucks. I had two counters for Blissey, two Pokemon with strong fighting type moves, and they're both dead. The owner of three! I forgot! I also have Deoxys that has superpower. So I had tons of counters for this Blissey, and now they're all dead. So I'm like, how am I gonna deal with this thing? He does an interesting move, which is switching out into this Blaziken. Uh, I, I could have very, very easily gone for the Earthquake and just one shot of this thing right away, but I wanted to set up the Stealth Rocks. Uh, I figured it might have been useful. He goes for the Flare Blitz, boosted by the Sun that does almost half, but Gondwana is a bulky beast. And now I go for an Earthquake, and that is going to easily take out Blaziken. I gotta be honest with you, I do not find Blaziken even the least bit intimidating. Uh, and did I just miss it? That was Speed Blue Bla Blaziken, wasn't it? I mean, he wasn't trying to run some kind of weird Blaze set, was he? Anyway, yeah, take him out. That was no problem at all. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, gonna want to switch out into uh, Booth, just on the off chance that he goes for Blue Flare, but also mainly... Booth is the least, uh, he's the Pokemon on my team that I can least afford to lose. Um, or sorry, Booth is the Pokemon that I can most afford to lose. Uh, Gondwana is my only remaining physical attacker and I really need it for Blissey. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sack my Reshiram and just hope that I can take a, um, minus two Draco meter. I'm pretty sure I can. I'll put up the calcs. But yeah, anyway, out is going to come Me Gusta. Out is going to come Blissey, and at that range of health, I'm hoping Earthquake will do a decent chunk, uh, a 2 hit KO range, even after Protect, and it's going down, 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 and I get the KO thanks to a crit. Now, that crit mattered in the sense that, I mean, that crit mattered in the sense that, uh, you know, I would have probably, I would have gone for Earthquake the next turn, too, um, and if he'd protected me, then maybe that would have mattered. Sorry, I'm babbling. I don't know whether it mattered. I'll put it up in the uh, annotations. But yeah, he goes for the Draco Meteor here. It's obviously going to take out Gondwana, but I am okay with the situation because Palkia is going to outspeed. So barring... <coughs> excuse me. Barring a Spatial Ren missing, this is game over. Well, I mean, it's game over one way or the other because this is going to be a 1-0 victory for one of the two of us. But assuming Spatial Ren doesn't miss, I have this game in the ba uh, bag. And it's not going to miss. And I outspeed him, and I go for the Spatial Rend, and it KOs, and that is good game, great game, Evil Man XD. Uh, it was really, really an excellent battle. Uh, hope you folks feel the same way. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.